It's a big question on the minds of many this morning is what happens now with Michael Jackson's three children? Kevin Frazier of Entertainment Tonight joins us with some insight into that. Good morning, Kev. Good morning, Lara. And you know what? Here's the bottom line. Three young children are without their beloved father. And as everyone will tell you, these kids were everything to Michael. But because of their ages and a possible fortune that has been left behind, the big question is what happens next? Michael Joseph Jackson Jr., known as Prince, his first son born in 1997, Paris Michael Catherine Jackson, his daughter born in 1998, and Prince Michael Jackson II, known as Blanket, a second son born in 2002. Blanket was the child he held over the balcony in that infamous baby dangling incident. What happened to them now that Michael is gone? The children are with the nanny. Where we care for Mrs. Jackson loves them. She takes care of them. Lawyer Brian Oxman says the children are currently with their grandmother, Catherine. But who will ultimately get custody? Debbie Rowe, Jackson's second wife, is the mother of the two oldest. They divorced in 1999. Could she end up with them? I don't talk about being a parent. We were allowed into Rose's home and her world in 2004, but because of a reported confidentiality agreement, she didn't talk about the kids or about Jackson. My family, that's off limits to everyone. In 2005, Roe battled Jackson over custody and eventually an undisclosed agreement of some kind was reached. But back in 2004, it was obvious she was a woman living in some kind of fear. My big fear is I can't talk about it. And I wouldn't. And my biggest fear is that those fears happen. Now that Michael is gone, that agreement and maybe others may be made public. And that's because of what Michael left behind. How about this? His 50 percent stake in the Sony ATV catalog, which houses the majority of the Beatles songs and also artists ranging from Neil Diamond to Lady Gaga, has an estimated value of at least 50 million dollars alone. You know, the kids are in line to inherit that, so it'll be very interesting to see if the birth mothers ultimately get custody and control.